I come from a family of railway workers. My grandfather came to Canada when he was 15 and got a job as a locomotive engineer with the railway. He had so much passion for the railway that, you know, it obviously got in our blood. <laughs> Well, the railway is what connected Canada. It's a, a very large country. And Canadians rely on those services. In Canada, we have what we call our mandatory routes. Many of those communities along those routes have no roads in or out, so they use the train to get the necessities that they need to get to medical appointments, to travel to school. And then there's the corridor region. The corridor is the, the most profitable region because it's utilized the most because of the ridership, because of the investment. It's that profitable piece that funds the other lines, that sustains the mandatory routes. And that's the region that the government is attempting to privatize. This will invite the private sector to formally express their interest in... These routes are not being well maintained now, so I can only imagine if you take that profitable piece and, and you give that away, I'm unsure how we foresee the funding happening for the mandatory routes. My real fear is that people will stop using it entirely because it's ragged and the government will abandon it. This is a country that was built on, on the railway. We have very little public transportation available. In fact, in British Columbia, there's a, a portion of highway called the Highway of Tears because there's no public transportation. So what happens is people will hitchhike along this portion of highway where there's also no cell service. It's been named the Highway of Tears because people have actually gone missing. They're hitchhiking along this highway because there's no public transportation to get them from point A to point B. They have no choice. And yet our government is not standing up and taking care of those people and saying we need to do better, we need to invest more. Instead, they're looking at let's privatize, let's sell it off to the highest bidder and let somebody else take care of the problems. And that, that isn't what we uh, elect a government to do.